And another steaming mug of tea. And again, not for the first time, mind you. No, no double deckers to be seen. Because we're going to try something else. Again. And what we are going to try is these. Yes, we're going to have a try of these and uh, see what they're made of. They look very, very nice indeed. And uh, we should be quite uh, looking forward to them. Oh, but we've already done this one, haven't we? We've already done preps of lemon ms Instead, we'll try something else. We'll instead try these dark chocolate M and M's. Once again, you cannot buy these in any shops. Well, any ordinary shops here in England cannot buy them. Only can get these via specialist shops or the internet via from the United States. Yeah, they look quite interesting, I think, personally. I'm looking forward to trying these dark chocolate M&Ms. They feel, just having a little feel of the packet, they seem almost like the same sort of size as our traditional chocolate M&Ms. And for those who like the calorie counter, let's have a look. Oh. oh, this one's a bit different. There's no calories. There's no little bars on it to say how many calories there is on it. So... Uh, yeah, there's your proof. Just have a look. So we can't even tell what they are. But anyway, dark chocolate M&Ms. This is the last variety of M&Ms that I've yet to try from the United States. So if you just give me a second. I'm afraid here we go again. We've got to look at the ceiling for a few moments. Sorry about this, folks. While I open the packet. Oh yes. And we withdraw that for a second. The cup. There we go. Look at that. Look just exactly like our English variety. There we go, green, blue, brown, and red. As you can see, oh no, that's not. Right, there we go, and red. As you can see, I'm not going to go through all of them because uh, we don't need to on this occasion. So I'm just going to have a sip of my tea. If we just get rid of the packet. Just have a sip of tea. Mmm, very nice too. Oh, oh, just caught my eye, out of interest. Something is different about them. I'm going to try and bring it up to the camera. There's actually something written on them. Uh, there's an M on the, on the thing. There we go, you can just, it's probably unreadable from your point of view, but it says M, and then underneath it there's dark. M dark. Let's see if we can actually... Not on all of them, but it is written on them. So that is something that is different from our uh, British variety. Anyway, let's have one of them and we'll see what we make of it. Hmm. Quite sweet actually, but definitely can tell it's dark chocolate. Just a strong, slightly stronger chocolatey taste. That's all really. Very, very nice indeed.
Mm. Mm. Very nice. Not bad. Very, very similar to the to the chocolate one. To the normal milk chocolate variety. Just a slightly stronger chocolatey taste. That's all there is. And virtually virtually no difference apart from that. Mm. Mm. Oh, you really taste that dark chocolate after just having that sip of tea. But very, very nice too. Oh. Well, that's it. They've all gone. Just drinking my tea now. Oh well, I suppose it's time to go, but before I go, I'm going to leave you with a special view of the cat. Say hello, Holly. Say hello to all the YouTube viewers. Thank you very much and see you again.